some comedians we've spoken to have talked about not going near Islam in their stand-up. They just said it's not worth it. There's a lot of conversation in the creative community about not worth the risk. I'll go and do the most horrific Jesus joke you could ever imagine because I know I can walk home through the roughest Christian neighborhood on the way home yeah. and I'm not going to have an issue. So there's a sense that this looming shadow, and again it yeah. comes from fundamentalists, that it's risky to make these jokes. So have they actually succeeded in their mission to make it taboo to no, make jokes? I think, it, I think it's fucking racism. That's what I think. I think it's bullshit and it's racism. Nobody is going to get shot going home, you know, from, uh, you know, the Laugh Factory, uh, you know, through West Hollywood uh, in order to get home after a comedy show where they made, you know, some joke about Muhammad. The, think, the fact that you think you're going to is racist behavior. It's racist thinking. You, don't make that joke in Qatar, okay? Don't make that joke in Doha and you'll be fine. Okay. Right, but you look at a public figure like Matt and Trey for South Park. They mm -hmm. got, they, didn't they receive some death threats over, over their episode? They received no? death threats for the R. Kelly episode. Right. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, R. Kelly they has a big fan base. They're yeah, very what extreme. I, what I'm <laughs> saying is, what I'm saying is, two things. Number one, it is true that there are extremists uh, in the Islamic world who have responded to violence to perceived slights. Right. That's true. It's also true that if you are saying to yourself, I'm just going to assume that every Muslim who hears a joke about Muhammad is going to kill me, and so I'm not going to make any jokes about it, it's not just self-censorship, it's racism. Right.